What is poppin' squad? It is your boy just Sam, and today we're gonna be talking about something that a lot of people aren't even really talking about, and that's what these next gear sets are gonna do for the DZ. So everybody's going around already parading around saying that Predator, Nomad, and Striker are by far the most broken gear sets that we have, and that's obvious. Um, they are the high-powered gear sets that everybody's pretty much using for a variety of reasons. People have their doubts that uh, that it's ever gonna be different. You know what I'm saying? There's gonna be nothing to counteract those builds but i'm here to tell you as the new gear sets start creeping in there's gonna be a lot of different ways to play the game and yes they not they may not be necessarily the best way to play to some people like a lot of people don't like the cheesy things like firecrest for example when six piece firecrest comes out that's going to be a big 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 problem for a lot of builds not just because of the damage but just because of the fact that you're gonna have people relying on CC and relying on using different things other than what you're used to for example a predators mark build is not gonna be able to push as much as they are right now because there's nothing that's stopping them um, a lot of players can't play as defensively as they want because they don't have the luxury of being able to hide behind a fire crest or have the utility of alpha bridge or have like maximum sticky bomb with tactician or all whatever build is your preference maybe somebody will end up breaking classify hunter's faith how you want to look at it right now it kind of seems like very gloomy because these obviously these three gear sets are extremely powerful and people don't like that people don't like the fact that they have to actually fight against these builds 99 percent of the time but one thing i noticed with the division is even if there are broken things there are a lot of prideful players um aside from the people who just enjoy the builds that don't necessarily want to run what everybody else is running in this sense it's going to be predators nomad and striker and there's going to be a million different things to run it may not be as optimal it may not be as strong and as broken but it'll be a whole new level of gameplay like for example like sticky bombs hit hard as is right now um i'm not going to say that they're ever going to just roll it easy again but it's going to be a problem for predators mark people because it's going to be a, a crazy amount of burst damage especially when they have that uh that trigger up where they get 60 like 60 stacks it's going to be insane the amount of damage you can do in a, in like a one gulf um as far as the sticky bomb goes and as far as firecrest people are going to have to really worry about pushing there's going to be teams that are going to literally play around their classified firecrest person and it's going to be extremely powerful like people don't understand that firecrest turret is literally going to shred people um it's going to shred all the people who who don't have uh necessarily the, the toughness needed for example it's going to shred other firecrest users it's going to shred tactician builds it's going to shred um dead eye builds it's going to shred anybody that isn't necessarily a nomad or a super tanky predator and it's going to be able to put out that cc where people aren't able to shoot which basically counteracts predator as is because if predators can't shoot then there is no point for them to be there they're just going to die um and one thing i did notice is obviously People are saying Banshee is really strong in one situation, which is Manhunt 5. But when you mix these up, like let's say you're a, let's say you're a Manhunt 5 team and let's say you're going against a server and you come across a corner and there's a classified firecrest cut off your lane. Then you have to worry about a sticky bomber that can basically almost put you to one shot. It doesn't have to, to necessarily one tap you to be crazy effective. All it takes is one or two sticky bombers to land stickies on you and that's it, GG, you're gonna die. Um, but if you're a nomad, obviously that's you're a little protected. But it's just the fact that it's going to take out big chunks of your health. And just like with Hunter's Faith, let's say you find something. I, I never really use Hunter's Faith classify, so I don't know how good it's going to be. But the amount of damage that you could get with headshots is going to bring back some form of sniping. When people, you know, mix it with dead eyes, mix it with uh, other builds that can just put out a lot of burst damage, like a sticky bomb with a Hunter's Faith headshot and a Predator's Mark is going to die. So. There's going to be a million different combinations. I'm not going to say it's going to be re like remarkably changed as soon as it drops because it's not. Um, it's going to take a while for people to start realizing how to break the build in that sense. Um, they're going to find, you know, whether being tanky with a firecrash just to be annoying with CC or just raw damage is going to be the better one. We don't know, but I'm going to tell you what, having a tanky firecrash that doesn't go down, like let's say somebody is just building it just for supreme CC because the range and the damage got buffed and the multiplier for the turrets got buff as is so it's going to be really 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 hard to push especially now that wildfire works how it's supposed to for these teams to push in especially when they have to deal with other things in your team like let's say you have a final measure or you have a d3 build giving you guys stamina or you have a predator's mark putting out bleed making them use their med kits which means if they catch on fire they can't come in and push and it's going to be a lot of different combinations that's going to make the division uh feel like it's supposed to be which is a bunch of different roles people playing different things instead of everybody hoarding to the same ones honestly 
I don't know if you guys noticed, I think that they did this on purpose where they put out Nomad and Predator first because they know those are going to be the two popular builds. They want you to get like kind of bored with them in a sense that every, since even though people are going to use them regardless, um, I'm not saying that people are going to just stop just because there's other options. But what I'm going to say is the people who do like playing differently are going to be able to have that, especially with these new um, classifieds that are coming out with this next global event. That's going to be three more that we're going to have in our arsenal to play around with. We we have a lot right now. You don't see many because obviously right now the, the, the three Egyptian god card builds are just ruling the DZ as of right now because there's nothing really out there that's another option to survive against them. Even though Firecrest may not melt them, it may really, really change the whole dynamic of how those builds work, especially when they cannot shoot and it's over and over and over CC. So I'm here to tell you guys, like, honestly, like, if, if you're looking forward to it, you have very, very very high hopes when it comes to uh what the dz is going to be you're not you're not going to be denied that that happiness from being able to choose different builds because they do work in it and i'm pretty sure as the tweaks come on you know however they end up changing it, it's going to slowly migrate into the middle and kind of dilute the the super brokenness and it's going to start feeling like like a role-playing build game where people have their positions and yes it's gonna be annoying for people who maximize their firecrest builds or people who maximize their tactician builds it's 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 gonna be extremely annoying it's gonna be really hard to play against because that's gonna be their zone but I mean that's how the game's supposed to be um, as far as damage as far as um, crowd control as far as support as far as whatever it is um, they these class fights are designed to be good at what they're supposed to be good at for example Nomad's really good at surviving, Prayer's really good at killing, Striker's really good at putting out burst damage and healing, obviously, and in so on and so forth. So Firecrest is going to be extremely powerful in its field, and don't be surprised if it feels overtuned, because it probably will. That's what they wanted these endgame builds to feel like. They wanted them to feel like they're powerful. They wanted them to feel like they're, they're endgame worthy. They wanted them to feel like, you know, if you got them, you, you basically earned it and you have something to work with. Those are the features that are going to make the game feel really really fun because everybody gets to feel op in their realm and that's kind of how the game should be if they want to continue to to grow or they they want to end up moving on to division two or whatnot that's kind of the formula they're going to need to take it's it's not necessarily weaken the strong build it's make everybody feel powerful in their role so a, a tank build is definitely gonna be be able to take all the damage that you're not going to want to put out um, the damage builds are definitely going to melt you when you're facing. The snipers are definitely going to take you out from a distance. Firecrest is definitely going to allow you to not be able to do anything in that area of that fire turret and, and slowly melt you. These are things that you're going to have to look forward to and, and build towards and have something to worry about. It's better than just worrying about, okay, so obviously I can just run EDR if, if I'm going to have to deal with a bleed or I can just run really high damage because I know I'm going to deal with a Nomad or I'm going to have to run a, a, a Disrupt sticky in order to stop the striker you don't you shouldn't have to know how to spec your build you should have like dang like i have to choose what i have the most problems with and i'll spec towards protecting myself against that instead of having to just literally build your build around three other builds which is obviously striker nomad and predator um and i think that honestly after this next global event you will start seeing a lot less of the three i mean you're still gonna see them because the people who enjoy them like i like i'm not gonna lie i will always run nomad i said this before it even came out um it's it's my favorite build outside tactician I'm, that's all i'm gonna run other than my tactician build so that's not changing for me but i know a lot of people who are just rolling with it because they have to i mean there's not really a choice not really much fun to play with anything else as of right now um as much as people want to admit but it will change when they start adding out everybody's favorite gear sets in classified form people can run their hybrids people can run their combinations the way they see fit so that's pretty much what i see about it and then why i have high hopes for this next global event i'm kind of hyped for it even though i'm not uh, getting my tactician as far as I know, but firecrest is definitely something I'm gonna be looking forward to just so I can play that support role that I never usually play So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching man I just want you guys to be optim like literally literally optimized by the point uh, That these builds come out because it will be different. It will be a different experience um, people are already complaining now um, But it is what it is. You're gonna have to deal with whatever the those builds are good at and avoid it how, and by any means necessary and hopefully there's a counter for every build at some point and it comes down to the wire where you know team play works so it's pretty much it thank you guys for watching much love we're almost at 32,000 subscribe leave me a comment much love your boy it is out